So how is the weather in your place? Is it too hot, raining, is it storm or too cold? You are in the comfort of your house and you have searched my video and I am present in your house. But have you ever asked yourself how it is done? Today is the 4th July of 2022. I am recording it in my place, in my camera and then I will transfer this data via Wi-Fi technology to my laptop and then through my modem I will transfer it to YouTube server and YouTube server could be in any country, right? And you are searching those data and they are coming to your house in a bit of one and zero strip through the fiber networks in between the oceans and those are coming to nearest YouTube database of your location and at the last moment they are traveling through air if you are using a mobile phone not a fixed broadband and lastly your processor is processing those data and getting you this words my words from an outsider if they think this is nothing less than a magic and this everything is possible because of electronics engineer not only VLSI engineer, VLSI engineer will be making the chip but we have many other fields apart from VLSI also and one of the prominent field is the wireless technology. Whenever we send all those data into the air in the form of EM wave, they could go through any type of channel, right? They could be air, fiber optics and in the air also, the characteristics keep on changing according to the weather situation. If it is hot, it will act in some other way. If it is thunderstorm, it will act in some other way. But it is the wireless engineer who have the responsibility to take up the data from the source and get it to the destination without any error. And this is a huge responsibility. And in a nutshell, this is the work of every communication engineer or signal processing guy or a wireless guy. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you all the great courses in the NPTEL which are available for free and they will explain to you how this thing actually is happening and how you could do those things when you join any industry level. But before I start, please like this video to uplift my motivation. Like Karo. So first two courses are for BTEC level and they would be guiding you for your gate preparation also. First one is your analog communication and it is organized by IIT Kharagpur. So if you are in your BTEC, you have already done your signal and system, then you can take up these courses. And actually when I was searching for these courses and I was seeing the intro video, then really I was missing my BTEC days. Because in my BTEC days, with all respect to my faculty, but I never feel interested for these courses but now when I am seeing this NBTL video I am thinking if those were available that time actually they were available I don't knew about that so I could have built my communication concept more correctly and more confidently so you have the chance take up this course register for this analog communication now second course is principle of communication system part 2 part 2 is totally independent of part 1 and part Part one is actually your analog communication and the faculty is again great he is explaining in a very nice way and it is organized by IIT Kanpur so there they will be building upon the fundamental of modern communication like how to do the source coding because we do source coding to safeguard our data how to analyze the channel, what are the modulation techniques, then how to estimate the maximum rate of communication possible for any channel. Like in our 4G, 5G, we keep on saying this is this megabit per second speed is or this gigabit per second. How to calculate those things? Through this course, you would be knowing those techniques. And see the industry support. We have Intel, we have Qualcomm. So if these are your dream company, then you can for sure build your CV into the communication part only. And for this course we have prerequisites and they are your probability and random process probably you have already taken one of same course in your BTEC curriculum but you haven't or you don't understand that course during your BTEC time then you can also take up this course which is not currently open for registration but in the YouTube recorded video are available so you can go through this course and it is a very short course only four weeks so probably first two or three weeks material you cover it up your prerequisite would be done and then you can register for this course and go through submitting your assignment and giving the exam 
So now the next courses would be for our MTech guy and PhD guy. So if you are a BTech guy, you can close this video right now. Or if you have the interest, you can continue. And the first course is Introduction to Wireless and Cellular Communication, organized by IIT Madras. So in this course, especially there build upon your digital communication part like prerequisites are your analog and digital communication and for sure signal and system so those btech concept you need to revise once before registering for this course so here they will be dealing with all the channel estimation their computer simulation how to avoid interference and how the handoff is done how the memo system work and many more things and the main thing is that all the assignments are complemented with the practical computer simulation example. So if you register for this course and do the assignment sincerely, then probably your practical aspect like coding in MATLAB would be very clean and clear. And if you don't know anything about coding, then you can check out my first video. There I have said about three ongoing NPTEL courses which can help you to build your coding skill. Then the second course is principle of estimation for MIMO and OFDM wireless communication. This course, few of the part are same as the previous course. So you please compare the content between these two and you can register for one of this course. And in this course, they give more emphasis into the MIMO and OFDM systems. Then the next course is my favorite and that is signal processing for millimeter wave 5G and beyond. I am not registering for that course because uh, I am not developing a wireless profile. But if anybody of you doing your mtech in signal processing or communication part and you have the affinity to read those things and want to build a strong cv for communication or wireless part then this course should be in your list it is a futuristic course and there they will deal about like they will start with the basic digital communication part like what is happening and then they will tell you if we increase the frequency and why we are increasing the frequency because we need more bandwidth so if we increase our frequency from beyond 6 gigahertz range for example our millimeter wave 5g is in the range of 26 gigahertz so then what are the extra thing in the signal processing domain we need to do to achieve a perfect lossless communication loss would be there like to a ordinary person every communication is a lossless so how to achieve that type of communication in a high frequency range because in high frequency communication path loss is huge so don't miss out onto this course if you want to build a strong cv in the communication part see qualcomm is there so if qualcomm is your dream company then you don't need to build your cv in around vlsi but you can build your cv in the communication and get a job there and the last course is for those who love mathematics and want to develop more into probability part because probability is a great part into understanding those higher level of communication part so the course name is probability foundation for electrical engineer so they will start with basic and they will then bring the higher concepts so you can take up this course if you are doing phd you probably having some time to do your coursework then you can take up this course to get more depth into the probability and then into the communication field so that's all for this video but hey in our next video we're going to talk about ai robotics embedded system iot what are the courses available in this july semester of nptl so if you don't want to miss those things subscribe to my channel and like this video to keep me motivated for more great videos and i'll be suggesting you every course please see it in 1.5x speed 